I mean, really, this place and any place is just a, a combination of the people that live there, right? Like, take out all the people in Nelson and you're, yeah, it's beautiful, <laughs> for sure. But it's, it's just a bunch of buildings and bricks and stones and trees and stuff. But the people in Nelson and the people in any place is what makes it come alive. This is what photographer Ryan Oakley has focused on for the past year. The people who make up the community of Nelson. After being inspired by a similar project out of New York, Oakley has been using photographs and conversation to tell the story of the humans of Nelson. Another photographer friend sent me a link to the Humans New York site. Kind of ignored it for a bit, didn't look at it, then when I did, I was just totally captivated. You know, all these images came up on the screen and it was just story after story and image after image and I just totally went into it and um, at the time I was looking for something to spark my, renew my interest in photography. It kind of died for a bit and right away I was like, I could do this and now it's going to be a perfect place to do this. Went outside with my camera like that day, started the project. Since starting the Humans of Nelson project in October 2013, Oakley has shot hundreds of photos, publishing over 250 to the HON Facebook page. Working as a civil engineer, this local photographer uses his lunch breaks to hit the street and snap shots of the people he meets. When I'm out on the street, I'm looking for Number one is, uh, you know, somebody who's not very rushed. You know, if somebody is clearly, you know, no matter how great they look or, 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 or whatever, if they're rushed, I'm not going to stop them because the odds of them saying yes or opening up or whatever, because I, I need time to, to take the photo, but I also need time to talk to them and get the story. Um, so if somebody's sitting on a bench by themselves, <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good person to go up and, and talk to. Um, you know, if they've got an interesting hat on or they're wearing something interesting or they just they're smiling they look approachable that's who I'll, I'll pick and I, and I try to not be so um, focused on trying to find a certain person that day it's I want it to be kind of a random sampling it doesn't matter if you're here a day or a year or ten years you happen to be here now so you're a humans of Nelson so and like the humans of New York project the photos and stories Oakley has collected are now compiled into a humans of Nelson book there's a lot of people that just aren't on Facebook that I think would really enjoy the project. And I think the, the project lends itself really well to book form. You know, having the image and then the story right next to it and be able to, to flip through image after image. And there's gonna be about 120 pictures overall. It's gonna be over 200 pages long, really nice photo quality paper. It should be ready in early November. And we're gonna do a uh, a book signing, book launch party at the movie theater in town. Oakley will continue to capture snapshots and stories in Nelson and plans to reevaluate the project this winter. But for now, the Humans of Nelson remains an enriching and rewarding experience for all involved. Overall, what it, what it does for me is just makes me realize at the same time we're all pretty much the same. We all are struggling. We're all trying to, you know, survive at the basic level and thrive at the top level. Um, and we're also at the same time completely different, unique snowflakes, you know, so, you know, it's not just a biography of one person, it's, it's person after person. So the collection itself tells another story about just how, um, yeah, how special each of us are. It's been fun getting to know all these strangers that you, I just normally wouldn't have met. You know, we get into these deep things with friends and family. But for me to be able to stop a stranger, take their picture, and within five minutes we're talking about you know, the death of a loved one or their most, you know, their happiest moment of their life. And it's like, oh, that's so neat. It's so special. It's so different. It's fun. For Go Kootenays in Nelson, I'm Christina Kruczkowski.